Welcome to the Charcoal Barbecue Kitchen, where everything is cooked with charcoal. Today we are going to be smoking up a pork picnic roast, which I will be cooking in the big green egg. This has been deboned. I think this is a pork picnic from my experience with cooking those. It has been deboned and de-skinned, which is nice, so that saves some work. Sometimes I'll cut this in half and cook a hot roast with part of it. But today we're going to be smoking up the whole thing, so I have to tie this up, of course. And then we're going to inject it with some peach juice. And inside the peach juice I put a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar and a little bit more water to make it dilute and we're just going to inject that all around the whole roast as you see there and I use these disposable injectors and they're so cheap about a buck each and uh, they last far longer than the ones that you buy that are more expensive so we've injected that and we've let it sit and I've dried it and now we're putting on my special rub that I use on all my ribs and my chicken wings and of course my pulled pork and the recipe for that is below and this is a delicious rub and it doesn't have any onion or garlic in it I think there's far too much onion and garlic used you only need those kind of flavors when the uh, emergency lack of flavor exists and here we're soaking our wood chips I've got a piece of pecan and a couple of uh, bourbon barrel uh, chunks. We don't want to over smoke the roast because I don't wrap it. I don't believe in wrapping any of my meat because I control the smoke. And now we've got the big green egg coming up to temperature at about 250 degrees. I didn't show putting the meat on there but the meat is sitting on the top rack. We're gonna cook indirect. All right, the pork is done. This is about seven and a half to eight hours later. We have a nice crust on there, a nice smoky appearance. I didn't do much except stir the smoking wood a couple of times to make sure that it was used up. And we're ready to pull this and rest it. So I've wrapped it in foil here and then we've got the temperature coming up to 201 there. And now this is my very secret uh, barbecue sauce, which is 50% apricot jam and 50% Kraft barbecue chicken and rib sauce. All I do is mix that in a 50-50 ratio and put it in the microwave for a minute or so to get it warm. We're going to pull apart the roast. This is a pork picnic roast, so it really needs a little more chopping than the pork butts do. So we're going to pull it apart and chop it up and then mix in the sauce and get our sandwich ready. Does that ever look good? Look at the smoke ring. Look at that crust. Wow. So simple to make, folks. Especially if you have a big green egg. Get rid of your Weber Smoky Mountain. Terrible job that does. So hard to maintain the temperature. You gotta use briquettes, they say. Terrible smell from that. I recommend getting a ceramic cooker for this. Here's my sandwich, 
I love it with some tomatoes and a bit of mayo. It has a delicious fruity taste from the apricots. Enjoy!